Very bizarre. I've never seen anything like that before. Welcome to Chongqing. Six. We've never had anything like this before. <laughs> Pretty amazing views, isn't it? Oh wow, look at that. England? Italy. Italy. What is it? What is it? I don't think I'm ever gonna leave this province. That is the best meal I've had in such a long time. Yeah. Guys, hello, hello, hello. We are in Chongqing. And uh, it is our first day here. We've just stepped out of our hotel. This is on the doorstep of our hotel. I think it's textiles here. They're doing some kind of textiles and stuff here. It's pretty cool. This is how it's looking. Fortunately, we're on 11th floor, so we can't really hear it, but it's very busy. It's a Saturday afternoon here, so you think maybe people aren't working, but here in China, people are always working, always on the graft. It's hard work. But look at this amazing view here. This is the mountainous regions of China. Look at that. We arrived last night and uh, it was a very interesting start because uh, the hotel was in a completely different place where it should have been and uh, it was a little bit it was down in back it's down like back alleys and stuff so it's a little bit of a surprise this is cool look at all this people enjoying lunch Saturday afternoon vibes we have a little walk around walking towards the uh, pedestrian street we're staying in an area called Jifang Bay which is the little island um, it is Jifang Bay this is Jifang Bay um, which is a little island um, and we're heading towards uh, Yujon Yujon maybe because that way is towards the pedestrian street so we're walking down there now um, this is kind of first impressions of it it's very different in the day it looks it looks better in the day. At night it's a little bit scary in places because it's uh, quite industrial. Guys, really interesting fact for you. Um, this is apparently China's biggest city. You'd never believe it, would you? You'd think it'd be Beijing, you'd think it'd be Shanghai. But apparently this is the, the biggest because of the, the, the area it covers. It's the most sprawling city in China. It's not the most populated because the most populated is apparently Shanghai. I thought it was Beijing. Apparently it's Shanghai. This place. Yeah. yeah. True. I mean this is so cool. This is like this is really like it's it's gritty. It's I like, I like the word I like the word gritty and you know what's amazing about this I've never seen anything like it before it's this kind of like it is seriously when you talk about something and it's just completely different to anything I've ever seen before it's amazing so far we had dinner last I had some well I had food last night um, Julia has got to be very careful in this region because she uh, has uh, favism um, so yeah, G6PD, which means she cannot have broad beans in anything. And I know there's things like the the do 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 binjang, do binjang, something like that. That's basically the, the broad bean paste, and that's used quite heavily. Traditionally, that's also used instead is used soya beans. So elsewhere in China, they might use soya beans. Here, to make it, they use broad beans. So we've got to be a little bit careful. I think it's quite and common, yeah. it's quite common. Idea. So we so we got we gotta be careful what we're eating here. It's raining. Suddenly raining, really? Somehow it's raining. So this is this is what I'm seeing here in, in Chongqing. And up there you can see Ascot and the raffles. Amazing. Uh, honestly, I, I don't know uh, so far it is it's incredible. It, it's somewhere you've kinda of got to travel to. Look at this. <laughs> I'm seeing so much stuff that I'm just not not used to. Like it's kind of like edgy, a little bit. If you like it, a little bit edgy, a little bit gritty and, and cool, then it's probably the place for you. 
but um, it's nice. I like it. I'm from gritty part. I'm from London, and parts of London are so gritty. So you know, it, it doesn't offend me or scare me. Look at this. A lot of stairs. It's hard work. Look at look at all this hard work these guys are doing. Oh, not an easy job that. Wow. Wow. Pretty amazing views, isn't it? Over the river there. Well, super interesting, guys. Is I can see the Petronas Towers in the distance. China's answer to the Petronas Towers. I know. The Petronas Towers of Chongqing, Julia. They're golden, yeah. So you want one? You want one? How much is it? How much? Five? Five yuan? ห้าหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมาหมา
to eat. The lady was really nice. Well, we found food. We found food. The spot. We no, we need to sit down somewhere. But so that's the busiest place ever. But as standard practice in China, they're very, very nice. If you ask and you use a bit of Google Translate or a translating app, you can get around very easily. Look how busy this place is. Grand. Ah, just here. Just here. Thank you. This. All right, guys. These mighty, mighty uh, space is a luxury here. Quite a tight space, but it's obviously very popular with people. I think there's um, sauces and stuff you can get, maybe like chili oil or garlic or anything. Like that. I think it's uh, the sauce is down. Look, I can see. It. Oh wow! Look at that. The tricky thing about being a foreigner is we're vegetarians too. So being vegetarian sometimes not that easy. Um, to get across, but if you use a little bit of a translation app, you can you can get around. Look how. If I just peel some chili onto this guy. Look at this, guys. Give it a good mix. In Malaysia, they say champur. But in China, I don't know what they say for mix. Very hot, actually. Doesn't even be able to eat it straight away. I think that's what. Mmm. Well, you can taste the Sichuan, Sichuan pepper. So they've got the pepper corn in it, and that's what the spicy sauce is, not broad bean, it's, um, it's Sichuan pepper corn. The one that makes your mouth tingle. It's not like spicy, it just makes your mouth go really weird. Whoa. Oh my god. That, the greens are delicious. Mm. So describe me, it's got chickpeas in it, it's got some greens in it, mm. it's got some spicy um, Sichuan um, chili oil and then noodles as well. Mm. I spoke to a local here and he said watch out because this stuff is spicy. It's just, uh, but fortunately we really like spicy stuff, so we're in the right region. It's just a challenge because Julia Julia's got a uh, favism, so she can't eat raw meat, so we need to be careful what we eat. The bowl of this, guys, came to, came to 20 yuan, so to the both of them, so 10 yuan each. It's pretty good. It's quite difficult to eat, I just say, those chickpeas are absolutely delicious. They're like salted chickpeas. Absolutely. Guys, this is our first proper Sichuan meal, and it's absolutely divine. Everything I thought it'd be is incredible. Uh, I guess so, yeah, you can try some. Mm. It's nice. Give me a sec. Is it sweet? No. Oh. Oh, wow. Guys, they've got tea outside here as well. Look. People are helping themselves with some tea, which is nice of them. It's very nice. You want more? Yeah. It's really good. Guys, so that came to 20 yuan, which is amazing for those two big bowls of noodles. That is probably one of the top 10 dishes I've ever, ever eaten in my life. Um, I, me and Julia, believe it or not, we don't look it, but we absolutely love spicy food. We are big fans of all the hot food, whether it's Malaysia, whether it's Indonesia, um, Thailand. But guys, check out this place, amazing. It was really good. It looks like it's visited by locals because um, it's very busy. It's very though, we came at the busiest time. Look at it right now, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Every time we find a place, it doesn't matter what time it is, because it was already up too, not like prime lunchtime, it was quite late. Everyone was there. As soon as we finish, it's fine. It's real talk, I don't think I'm ever going to leave this province. That is the best meal I've had in such a long time. You see all this dumb stuff? Because <laughs> yeah. the post office was the most famous attraction here, no? There's some kind of dumplings here. Wow. Ni <laughs> hao. That's about it. Ah. Hmm. Nice. How <laughs> chet? How <laughs> chet? Maybe we come and try later. We come back. This looks nice. 
isn't it? Mm. Mm. Well, amazing food. Wow. You probably see the red still on my mouth. It's such a big bowl. You'll see a little bit of red around Julia's mouth as Can well. You? Mission complete. We have got lunch and uh, you just got to be brave about it and find a really busy looking place where all the locals are going to and find the nice lady that works there. If you can find yeah, the nice she, lady. She cooked her food. She did. Well, yeah, I started going over to yeah, her and then she said hello. Yeah, she said hello in English, but she couldn't speak English, but she she obviously wanted to try and help. It's a very busy place, so she didn't need to help. She could have just shrugged us off. No. Chinese doesn't translate at all, does it? Do you go vegetarian? Can you do vegetarian? They say yes or no. Do you have a meal? Do you have a meal? Yeah, we have actually. Wow, look at this. Guy. Look at all these bright lights here. Incredible, eh? Yeah. Look what they're making. This looks sweet. There we go. Powerful far. South for far, you've got that. Those things would be nice. They're filled with sesame paste. Strawberry thing there as well. Fruit, fruit shade, guys. This one. Ah, mayo, mayo, mayo. Ah, mayo. Uh, you want to try the mix, the mix bowl one? That's just making there. Yeah. You have, you have this one? Yeah, this one. This one. Yeah, like this, 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 this. And, uh, and this? One. This one? Yeah, this one. Yeah, this, this. And, uh, there we go. Sí, sí, thank you. Sí, sí. Sí, sí. Thank you. Guys, we are now sat down with the messiest dessert in the world. It looks like dessert with some fruit in it and some shaved ice and some kind of jelly it looks like as well. It looks like a real mess, but I guess you've got to try it. It looks, this looks like a traditional Chinese dessert. We've never had anything like this before. So uh, intrigued to try. We've not actually done that much trying of Chinese desserts yet. And we're on a bit of a roll today, so we thought, why not? She's going to go for the straw, a bit like chendol. Mm. Very nice. More melon, nice. Guys, this is Chinese chendol. Mm. Oh wow. She was intrigued. Guys, I was just saying to Julia, that stuff is like China's answer to, you know, these, these Southeast Asian foods, you know, like chendol. Julia said ABC, which is famous in um, Malaysia. I know they have some of this kind of stuff in Philippines as well, something similar. Indonesia has chendol as well. So these kind of desserts are very big in Asian culture and my gosh, it's perfect for the weather, perfect for the heat, cools you down. So many different textures in one bowl. You've got the soft, you've got the crispy, the chewy bits, you've got the fruit. So this is what they were serving in a hot vat. And it looks like it's little balls of something. What is that? Someone tell me what that is, I don't know. Mm. Wow. Let's give this a bite and see, see what happens. Oh. Very delicious. Thank you, sister. Very delicious, guys. Wow. That is sesame. And tasting it kind of soft, gelatinous. I don't know what you call it. It's gelatinous. You call it tapioca, maybe. Wow. And then you've got this beautiful explosion of sesame in your mouth. Sweet sesame explosion, it's delicious. This is what is in the middle. 
oozing out. You see it? So that. Oh, very fantastic. But they are very, very good. That is, my friends, top tier food, I think. What's the in there? I think it's just to keep it gelatinous or keep it soft, keep it moist. A lot of emotion right now. Guys, it is a busy Saturday, uh, Saturday here. Everyone is out with their families eating. The market is absolutely bustling, and there is some very good food to be had. You know where to look. So many great smells happening. Um, all sorts of different things on sale. We've got prawns on sale there. Very interesting. We've got some kind of classic Sichuan dishes on sale there. Fruit on sale over here. And some kind of um, Japanese, uh, it look like the Japanese things, don't they? Tamagotchi. Takoyaki. Takoyaki. Yeah. I called it Tamagotchi, but it's Takoyaki. But yeah, so many different things on sale here. We'll have a quick wonder after, but fantastic. Hey, sis, sis, how's it? How's it? How's it? Very nice. Very delicious that was. How chip. Guys, welcome to the centre of Chongqing. This, this must be like a centre. This is pedestrian street. This must be one of the kind of key points of Chongqing, but very beautiful. I bet you never thought it'd look anything like this, did you? Look how tall these buildings are. Crikey, Julia. Wow. China is truly a lot of uh, designer brands, let me tell you. I've never seen so many designer shops than I have here in China. Guys, really amazing thing about China, super interesting, is when you travel the world and you travel normally, sometimes people will see you uh, as an opportunity. Uh, naturally, it's not a problem, but they'll see you as an opportunity to make a little bit more money as a tourist. But interesting enough, here in China, you don't get overcharged. Actually, they charge you the same price and they don't ask you for tips or anything like that. They don't look at you expecting a little bit of a tip because they know you're a tourist. It's all the same price and it's very fair and people are helpful. The obvious problem is the big language barrier, but once you get past that, you know, it's, uh, it's all to play for. It's amazing. What's that? Ni hao. What's this? What is it? What is it? You eat or you drink? It's like this or eat? What do you sell? No, but it's quite expensive. Let me see. Is it this? No. This. I don't know what it is. No, 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 it's okay. I don't know what it is. I didn't buy it because I, I, could, I couldn't tell what it was. I asked him multiple times and I said, what is it in Chinese? Just press down on the thing. I asked him multiple times what, what it is in Chinese, but he couldn't explain it. I don't know, like, eh, bless him. I, I, I feel bad, but I didn't want to spend 40 yuan on, on some meat. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why he was so suspect about opening it up. 
Like, like any normal person opens it up and shows it to you. <laughs> there must be a reason why he was doing that. Maybe he, uh, maybe it gets cold when you open it up. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Very bizarre. I've never seen anything like that before. Welcome to Chongqing.